Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox. Welcome back to another night with Oxygen Not Included. We're here back in the Ironic Dimension, the colony that we started the other day when we were playing... Oh, I got a pop-up for my own stream. How about that? <laughs> the uh, the other day when we were uh, working with the, ex the expressive upgrade, that upgrade is now live in the core part of the game. It's no longer in the beta branch anymore, so we're now playing with the game in that state. And there have been a few additional changes that were made to the game that uh, I sort of caught up with right at the very end of... The end of things, they had sort of like a last update before they pushed it into the regular mode. And that includes adding in an espresso machine. So in the first in the furniture section, we have the espresso machine. That's actually unlocked uh, through advanced plumbing or precision plumbing. Kind of makes me wonder whether they're planning to add some more things into precision plumbing because they added its own separate category and everything for it, which is pretty cool. Uh, I would like to get a, an espresso machine set up, but I think it's going to be a little bit because there's actually uh, a fair amount required in order to make the espresso. Like You have to get... The pinch of pepper nuts, uh, those are used, I guess, to like, ground up instead of coffee or whatever. Um, so I'm not sure whether they go to that this stream or not. And it also does have plumbing and stuff involved, uh, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, last stream we did get up the uh, get set up the, the juke bot, and on the last stream, what I was saying was that I really wished and hoped that the duplicates would dance, because when we played it, they just sort of stood there looking bored. <laughs> but now that the game is in the core part, or the the sorry the uh, the upgrade is in the core part of the game. They did add the dancing in, which is really cool. I'm sure we'll get a chance to see that when the duplicates get up and start moving around. Uh, one other change that they had is that they've they've uh, modified the morale system. Oh, by the way, this thing here works now, the managing the schedule. Um, so I'm going to leave it static for everybody for now until I figure out. Uh, I'm going to have to play around with that a little bit and try to figure out what uh, optimal looks like in terms of what the schedules are and stuff. Uh, but they've, they've also, they have this morale system. I got a pop-up when I loaded in the game. Now, I was playing in the beta branch, so I thought... We were already using the morale system, but it said that we weren't. Um, so everybody got a morale boost for like the first five cycles. So in that time frame, we'll have to make sure we have everything kind of in place for them. But that that morale system now replaces the whole system they had around um, their food preferences and and decor settings in the in the uh, the broader colony. So well, we still have the decor overlay that shows the areas that are nice. Um, that's not the only thing that, that defines whether your duplicates are ultimately happy with their environment and, and what have you. But welcome everybody who's here in the chat so far. Uh, should be a fun night tonight. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to build tonight. I didn't have a pure plan for it, but I want to build out some more of the recreation items. Uh, in particular, there's uh, like an arcade machine. If we can get to the espresso machine, I'll try to do that, but I can't make any promises uh, for tonight. Because as I said, we do need pinch of pepper nuts for that. Uh, and hopefully we can uh, continue to grow and stabilize our colony and everyone will not implode on themselves and die in a writhing pile of duplicate flesh. <laughs> How's my back doing? It's not so bad. Um, uh, like I've said before, they, they have, uh, I have some pain management stuff with it, so hopefully that will kind of help to make things... Uh, well, I mean, so far it's, it's kind of made things manageable with it, um, so that's not really so bad. So it could be worse. Could be better, could be worse. But thanks for asking. Uh, suffocating. What are you doing down there? And why are you stuck there? Uh-oh. <laughs> of course, I managed to dig my duplicates into trouble again. It looks like I mined out the ground that they needed to jump on in order to get out of here. Um, let's set you to dig these, please. Preferably before you suffocate to death. Now, it's actually probably a good thing I had this only on play speed instead of like the triple fast speed. If he digs this out, I think he can make the jump across. We're about to find out. Hooray! Alright. Another duplicate rescued. Look, the duplicate fire brigade right now. Who else is suffocating? Okay. It's fine. They'll, they'll be okay. <laughs> Pray, I'm glad your back is improving. Crypto Fox, please continue to get better. Thanks, BDS Empire. Thanks, by the way, for uh, Felicitous Smoke and Snoops for the Super Chats before the stream even started. I <laughs> appreciate those, as always. Thank you for supporting the channel. We're building fun tonight. That's right, Bew. Welcome, Sweet Saya. Is it Sweet Saya? Sweet... I don't know how to say that. But welcome. Glad you were able to like the stream. First incoming death. No. Maybe. <laughs> Uh, oxygen levels in the colony aren't fantastic. Uh, this layer down here has a little bit more CO2 in it than I would like, but we had run out of algae at the end of last stream. The duplicates just ran and grabbed some more. Uh, we really should get our system set up to be able to uh, pump oxygen into the colony. Now, my challenge here is going to be cooling it at this point. Uh, we do have a cold biome down here. That's a long way to send water to. 
And we actually don't have huge amounts of water yet. I mean, we, we do have some wastewater over here that we had. Um, what well, we put in our toilet system, we have an overflow that dumps here. And then also from the wash basins that are left. Uh, not that there's many of those. We have that. They're sort of dumping it in there also. But we're not actually consuming all that much fresh water anymore. So I'm hoping we can kind of pump from here. So if we pump from here... Where do I want to set up my oxygen production? Everything's so warm. <laughs> I mean, we could also like dig through the wall right here, I suppose, and get access to this abyssalite. Uh, this actually, this abyssalite will open up to this like, oxalite. So let's uh, let's deconstruct the wall here for now. This is obviously going to take the the, the 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 bonus off the bathroom for now. Actually, do I even? I don't even have somebody leveled up high enough. I don't think. A reachable dig. We'll find out soon enough. New sponsor, welcome BDS Empire. Thanks for the sponsorship, I appreciate that. Seth Walker, when's the next CMS? Uh, good question, Seth. I'm still trying to figure out some recording and stuff. Um, in terms of a live stream, I'm not certain. My live stream schedule is going to be a little bit wacky for the next little while. I apologize for that. Uh, I normally would be playing Fortnite on a Friday night, um, but I'm going to be tweaking my whole schedule around in general because I just can't spend as much time as I was sitting on the computer streaming until you know, things start to get sorted out and everything gets better with my back. Um, it will help a lot when I get the stand-up, sit-down desk set up, although today I had a lot of trouble with my left leg, so eh, standing wouldn't have helped me today necessarily, but in the long run, it'll help a ton. All right, so we have another oxygen supply <laughs> coming in from outside of the colony there. This can go for a while before we have to worry about doing anything with that. Uh, obviously, it's going to kind of tweak our system over here, so maybe if we put a little... Let's put a pneumatic door over here for now. There, that way we can let the, the nice oxygen in through that side of our bathroom. But we won't have to worry so much about uh, that not being a room because we do still want the, the bonuses that we get from it. Finally got a live stream again. Welcome, Toolkit. <laughs> one of us. One of us. Okay, so last stream we set up this gas chamber to, to, to trap all the wonderful fart fuel. Um, and it's trapped in here now, connected to this natural gas generator. Um, this natural gas generator, I kind of want to hook up to our general power system so that we can make use of it. Uh, it's not hooked up to anything right now. It's going to produce at 800 watts, which should be fine actually connected to the main grid. Because we don't have that much drawing power. Uh, we do need to make sure we have research underway. We do. They're almost done with that. So what do we have on this grid? This grid's drawing, ooh, max 1440. All right, there's a little more here than I thought, but that's, in, that's because of the pumps and everything. This pump's not running, obviously, right now, so it's not drawing power. This isn't running, so it's not drawing power. So I think what we'll do is we're just gonna wire this thing in directly. If I can get it to go. There we go. Uh, and I do want a smart battery down here. Let's see if we, oh, you know what? I need a smart battery up top here also. Made a mess. Who made a mess? And why did you make? Why did you pee in the? I've 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 identified a problem. <laughs> we have fourteen duplicates, four bathrooms, and a very short pee break at the start of the day. Let's just give them a little extra time for that. <laughs> and we're gonna need a mop up on aisle three. Oh, they're all getting soggy feet from hanging out in the guy's pee. Ew. Oh, come on, everybody, stop peeing on the floor. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> this is gonna go downhill quick. Oh my gosh, look at all the pee. Something happened with our plumbing. No, those should all be working. What's going on here? I mean, these should all be ready to run. Why did nobody use the bathroom? Why did they all pee on the floor? Please clean all that up. That's disgusting. Not even the Drekos enjoy that. And they hang out in some pretty nasty conditions. Please tell me someone's going to use the bathroom now. Well, they won't, actually. They won't until the start of the next day, which is really kind of terrible. I really should have some bathroom time for them at the end of the day, too, maybe. Okay. Everyone is peeing themselves. There's something wrong with the bathroom. At least he cleaned his own pee up. That's something. <laughs> All right. Uh, I don't know what the problem is. I, sometimes with updates, 
you can get funny little things like this. I wonder if... I wonder if maybe these things aren't recognizing the connection anymore for some reason. You deleted pipes when you opened up the O2. I did too, you're right, thank you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's just cancel that. Thank you, totally didn't notice that. That would be the reason why nothing is flowing. Uh, and let's put a high priority on that because I don't like cleaning up pee on the floor. We're off to a wonderful start today, folks. Wonderful start. I just connected the fresh water supply to the waste plumage. Okay, this really needs to be top priority. We're just wasting water here. <laughs> well, actually, if, that's funny. It flows right through the sieve. It doesn't even have to. Doesn't even do anything. I've never accidentally connected clean water f into the sieve before. That's funny. Okay, so plumbing's fixed. Now everyone can use the bathroom. That should be good. Fix that as a matter of priority. Quite a bit of wastewater there, but that's okay. All right. <laughs> we got oxygen in exchange for not having bathrooms. What are you going to do? <laughs> uh, it wasn't waste to the clean. It was clean to the clean. So in that, in that sense, it was okay, but... Notifications just gave me a notice. CryptoFox started streaming 11 minutes ago. Yeah, the stream, the notifications are a little funny. It's it's actually, it's interesting. It was my stream and I got a pop-up telling me I was live. <laughs> I was like, that's great. I wish you were a little bit more consistent at telling the people that subscribe to the channel that. That'd be fantastic. Okay, so this system over here, uh, ooh, we also wanted to get a hatch farm started at some point today. I believe was something else we were looking at. And I don't know where we'll put that because we're actually lacking space right now. I need to kind of expand out a little bit. If we go out this side of things, it's really hot over here, though. That's my only concern. We do have this sort of opened up down here. If we could take control of this space and then do something to sort of mitigate the temperatures, it might be all right. Um, but first things first, we're going to need oxygen production. And I think this time I'm going to do something a little different. I'm, I'm going to set up my oxygen production at the lower part of the base. Normally I stick it up top, but the water is like right here. So I might be able to save on some plumbing. Some plumbing issues if we can kind of do it down bottom here. So let's just build this out. This thing's full of oxygen too, which I won't complain about accessing. There's a whole bunch of algae down here, which is good. Did you mop the pee in front of your containers? Is there pee down there still? Oh, there is. Yep, thank you. Everybody stop running in the pee. That'll do wonderful things for the morale. Everybody running in the pee and all. This plant needs planting. And we've got a little pockets of gas floating through here. Natural gas, carbon dioxide. Stifling the plants temporarily, but that's okay. It kind of drifts off and goes about its own way after. You should play GTA 5 because there's a new DLC. Uh, yeah, I don't really play Grand Theft Auto. I played it a tiny little bit ages ago. Um, but it's not something that uh, that I play regularly. And definitely not something that would be suitable for the channel based on, based on the kind of content I like to make. So I'm going to use radiant piping in here to try to cool down the, the the air that we're getting from our ventilation system. Sort of like what we did last time. Uh, and I guess while these guys are going to sleep, we'll just sort of get everything drawn out down here. So we're going to have one pump down here. This is going to be surrounded by tiling. I might as well do insulated tile. So we can avoid causing any temperature issues later. Right up there. Our second gas pump, of course, is going to sit. Oh, I can't even. I can't even think right now. Rain no worky. Oh, it's going to be a weird system here. I've got my ladder built in a weird place. All right, uh, we're going to go like this. Insulated tile here. Ooh, this one's actually going to have a top door on it. This is going to be really different. Manual airlock can go here. Gas pump over here. Back to the insulated tile. Uh, we're going to build a tile here initially, but we're going to wind up breaking it because the door doesn't seem to work properly if it's not there. So, we'll top like this. That's where our door can be. Whoops. Cancel that. Cancel that. Put a door in. Oh, this isn't going to work. 
Well, forget that. <laughs> if I put the door up top, we can't get into the bottom to do the building, so that's obviously not going to work. So I'm going to have to go like this. Cancel this here. We'll cancel the door. Go like so. I want to kind of get use of this uh, oxalite crystal that's here, so I'm going to keep that intact for now. We're going to move our ladder placement because it actually needs to be over here now. Cancel all in here. And then in oxygen production, we're going to grab our electrolyzer and we'll stick it right in this spot right here. Automation, we of course need an Atmo sensor, which will sit, say, here. Bob's your uncle. Pee near the refiner. Oh man, did they pee every. Oh my gosh, that's not even near it. It's basically flooding it. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. Alt S. We're going to scroll out. Please mop everything. <laughs> Let's make sure they get it all. I don't know that that works. But that's okay, because I got some, some areas outside the zone that we probably shouldn't mop anyway. <laughs> and blocking the bottom pump. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you mean. There's some stuff here I haven't dug out, which I'm going to have to dig this out. Ooh, actually, this is going to be the liquid drain for our... Oops. Hmm. Okay, maybe I should put the ladder down the other side, actually, now that I think about this. So, I have a drain, actually, here. This is supposed to be set up for um, for the, the polluted water that's going to come off our natural gas generator. We don't really want that to be, like, dumping down into the space where... We have our oxygen system. I feel like that would be a sort of a bad idea. So let's go this way instead. There's going to be slime down here, unfortunately. How germy is it? Minor germs. It's fine. Just minor germs. Like that. Okay, and then we'll do... Airlock doors. There. Go that route. It was a delayed statement. Oh, I see. <laughs> He's not lube for machinery dupes. Ah, it's not lube. It's coolant. They're they're taking care of coolant. It's an all organic coolant. Um, perfectly safe for the environment as long as you're not the one walking in it. Uh, I had originally planned to build a smart battery in here, which I still intend to do. So let's get that taken care of. Just put that right on here. This is going to require some automation wire, of course, to connect these together. Aw, oh, little shine bug egg. They're all so excited. This is what fun is, the shared adventure, yeah. <laughs> if three baby noodles keeping you company until you wake up enough to work. Baby noodles you mean by snakes? Or is it just very small spaghetti? Which I suppose might also be cute, maybe. Uh, you know what? Let's just build this all up here. I'm going to create an axis to get in this lower part from above. I feel like that probably makes more sense. Jobs mastered! Research complete. Okay, so I'm going to be a little bit careful with the job promotions now. I was kind of going crazy with them before, just pr promoting everyone up as fast as possible. However, it seems like with the morale change... That's probably not the best idea. Um, we want to be a little bit more careful with it now. Um, let's go to HVAC. We want to be a little bit more careful with it now because their demands step up. It's no longer just about food and stuff. Oh, we're going to see dancing. All right, they're all using the bathroom. That's good. Get your business over with, folks. Get that all done. We have plenty of oxygen now. So that's good. Oh, here goes the dancing. Oh, he's drinking water. He just throws the cup over his shoulder. He's littering. Aw, oh, they didn't use the jukebox. That was disappointing. Shine farm with a solar cell. It does work, yes, if you can get enough shine bugs together. The hard part with the shine bugs is they have short lifespans. So they kind of end up dying a lot. Jeez, we're already starting a farm down here. We got hatches running around all over the place, laying eggs all over. I think that's like their end of life cycle egg, though. This guy is, yeah, 79 years old, or 79 cycles old, I guess. 
I don't see the one other one that was out here. It's gotta be hiding somewhere. But that's okay. Slow time down when they dance. Yeah, I'll put it down on like regular play speed. <laughs> is that top water pump still in the water? It is, just barely. Uh, but we're actually not using this pump all that much, I don't think. Uh, now that I say that, they just used it. <laughs> you know what? Let's make this pump the priority. No, we actually can't. Um, all right, that's fine. So I, I haven't really been cooking anything up here, and so we haven't needed to use water necessarily. Wizard King 23 with a two dollar super chat. Hey, Crypto Fox, love your streams. Keep on great work. Thanks so much for the super chat and the kind words. Appreciate the support. Thank you for coming to the stream. I really thought they would prefer this one because I thought that was a shorter chip, but I guess it's maybe very similar. And depending on where the duplicate is when they get tasked with the job, they're just sort of going to the one that's close by. But soon we won't be consuming water with our supercomputer anymore, and that'll be nice because it sucks up a lot of water, produces a lot of heat. It's yucky, yucky. Feeders, phosphorite, keep shine bugs alive. Uh, all right, let's see if we can actually put some up here. Hold on. Food. I think we need the critter lures to be able to feed those guys, don't we? Well, we'll try a critter feeder up here. We'll see what happens. Let's see if we can keep the shine bug, shine bug strong up here. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we'll find out. Love your streams, videos. Keep the great videos. Thank you. They do dance. It's really cute. <laughs> I had them dancing while I took the uh, the thumbnail actually. Which I thought was kind of neat. I should start a critter farm soon, too. You're right. But my first priority is oxygen. Because we're, we're getting really low on algae now. And we're at that critical phase where... I need... Iron. What the... There we go. Uh, we're at that critical phase where if we don't transition over to a different oxygen system, things will get really hairy very soon. So I want to get that over and done with. At the very least, if we have one of these running, I can shut down one of these. That slows down our consumption of algae. Move treadmills. Uh, eventually, I mean, they're not using them right now, but... Oh, no, actually, no, they are. They are still using them, because they don't have the broader... I don't have the broader power grid connected up, because just to... We, we had, like, jury rig at the end of the last stream in order to try and get the... Um, the uh, the juke bot to work because it takes like 900 and some odd watts of power all by itself so we we set all this stuff up at the end of the last stream just to get this this thing running because we wanted to see if the duplicates danced sadly they didn't though the, the juke bot was pretty cool no you're not suffocating again you got plenty of oxygen right now but if we don't transition over oxygen will become a problem so I, I'd, I'd rather just not have that happen let's get some ventilation set up here uh, ooh, you know what? We're gonna have we're gonna have another power system here. And we'll set it up right over here, I guess. Okay, so this is where we're gonna put our fancy. Where is it? Hydrogen generator. Stick that right here. We have to go a little extra space. We'll put batteries down here too. Now, there is a way you can set this up so that um, you're only, like, you're, you're taking excess power from the system and allowing the rest of the base to use it. Um, I haven't toyed around with that too much, so I don't want to I don't want to muck with it a whole lot yet until I get a chance to experiment with it. But my, my main concern usually when I set these up is I don't want them to ever run out of power. I would just want them to run indefinitely. So, until I can get to that point, usually I don't like to muck around with it a whole bunch. Alright, we'll pump this gas out of here, straight out of this. Uh, this gas here can go insulated. We'll send it straight up through... Up through here. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I'm just going to dig a hole right there. Why not? Uh, we'll dig through... Oh, oh my gosh. Derpy pipes. There we go. Now, this is where I wanted to use the radiant piping, so this is going to have to, like... This is going to be a little weird. <laughs> okay, so in here, we're going to switch over to radiant piping. And our radiant pipe is going to snake through here. 
Now, I, I kind of went a little overboard, I think, with, this, with the pipe snaking through the water last time. I don't think it actually takes all that much. Because the radiant piping is really good at transferring heat. We'll send it up over here. Oops. Use a gas bridge. And I'm going to pump the cool air up by our plants for two reasons. Uh, I want them to have good air pressure up here, but I also, and this also near the living quarters, so that's good. Uh, but I also want to make sure we're controlling the temperature here as much as we can. I've been making chlorine rooms to grow bomb, uh, bomb lilies for the pills, too. Oh, yeah, that's probably helpful. It, it's going to be interesting to see how everything works now with the morale system. Uh, I mean, our stress is at 0%, so they're, they're pretty good that way. Um... But I'm curious to see whether it changes the way that I have to play at all. Because I haven't really... From what I'm gathering, I haven't really seen it in... Uh, oops, come on. Buildings. There we go. In the beta branch stuff that we're working on. Because I I don't know whether that was like a psych out pop-up that I got when I started up my game. Saying, you know, the morale system's here. And it could make things really difficult if your stuff's not set up right. So, we're going to give you a boost of like five cycles of, of extra good morale. I don't know if it's a case of... Um, I was already in that space, or if it's a scenario where things are different now and I have to handle stuff differently. So I guess we'll see. We shall see. They got a lot of building to do, though. The jump from 4 morale to 8 looks brutal. Yeah. Did they give you a 5 cycle morale boost? Apparently, yeah. Yeah. So because I was using a save game, uh, it said I was going to get like a 5 cycle morale boost. So we'll see how that goes. Their morale is obviously very good right now. They're 100%. 100% uh, immune system and 0% stress. So, oh, there they go. Hold on. It's break time. And the different the different duplicates have different dance moves, too. Oh, they just farted. The dancing seems so slow on regular speed. <laughs> Thumbs up. Oh, I guess it's, they just give, give them like a random dance move, maybe. Your base went to 100% stress immediately. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. I got a pop-up saying I was going to get a boost, so I don't know. Unless, that, unless maybe that was a hot fix they put in, because I did notice there was an update right before I loaded the game tonight. Might have been like a, like a little patch they put in to kind of ease the transition for people, maybe. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Should we start putting some paintings into storage? Oh, yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, let's go furniture. Like canvas. Oh, I didn't realize that floor was that uneven. Oh well. It's fine. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, okay. Actually, I wanted to see whether I have enough, uh, I don't know if metal to make another. Let's make some more metal here. A little bit of more refined metal, because I want to put a smart battery down here with this system also. Smart battery. This way, when I get running down here, we can shut these things off. That'll save us heat in the middle of the colony, too, which will be good. We're almost done with the research, and then we can destroy the research stations, which, again, saves a lot of heat, a lot of energy, a lot of duplicate time. Hydrants next to the pitcher pump. Yeah, that's this probably is going to be the place I'm going to have to build one. Um, Size-wise, it's not going to be that big, but that's probably okay. The eggs are even conveniently placed here, too. We'll just have to put, like, a door on here or something. Try to keep the, uh, the hatches contained. Actually, what are the size requirements for that? So, the stable is 96 tiles, so it actually gives us a fair amount of room. Let's go ahead and we can start building that right away. Uh, throw an automatic door on here. The trouble is they're going to be sitting a little CO2, but I guess the I guess the hatches won't mind that much. Check the rating, the morale exception, expectations. If their morale is higher than expectation, you're gold, otherwise you gain stress. Yeah. So, uh, what do we got here? Where do they have the morale? Oh, there's the morale there. Okay, so, morale six of eight. This duplicate needs a morale rating of eight. Yeah, so we have, no, no, we're in bad shape. 
We're gonna be. This is gonna crash and burn when things go bad here. Um, so they're getting plus one for du new duplicate, plus one for comfortable barracks, minus one because of the food, and they don't like the decor. But it might also be a function of where they're standing right now too. Like some duplicates will be a little better off where they were. Grizzly meal. So we're definitely gonna need to improve our food over time. Um, I, I'm gonna have to be really careful with how we allocate jobs because we don't want to move people up into positions that are gonna put them completely unmanageable from a morale position. Um, our scientists, electrical engineer. You know what? When Brian McCracken finishes the electrical engineer, I, th I might move him into an architect because I don't think we have anyone that's been working on the architect stuff yet. Actually, we're not cooking food right now. Let's take um, let's take other not not yet dead or T J Rar. We'll move them to. Architect Apprentice, and hopefully this will lower their expectation. I don't know if it's going to, but... Let's see what happens. So they're now on a on a tier plus two. But I wonder if it'll actually take four and then add two and make it, like, plus six. Let's check the vitals now. Actually, uh, we'll see when they switch over. So we move not, not yet dead. Oh, no, it did lower their morale expectation. Okay, so you can lower their job priorities. And it'll improve their morale situation. That seems pretty good. Um, yeah, we do need drywall as well, you're right. It's in utilities. Drywall, let's make that out of... Hold on, temperature. We want something with good decor. Decor plus 10. It should be able to make it out of granite, right? Granite, decor plus 20. <laughs> I'm curious to see how uh, how much of a difference this makes from a decor perspective because it's not really very nice down here. I mean, it's not it's not awful, but it's not it's not very nice. So I'm curious to see whether this will actually improve the overall. And if it does, we might have to drywall the whole thing. <laughs> Don't forget to finish your research. One item needs yeah. Uh, your one item needs three more points in the one tile on top left corner of the bedroom. Yeah, this one's not... I mean, this isn't that bad. I don't think we have any heat coming in through that corner. Uh, it's a little hard to tell because stuff's up there. Stuff's warm up there to begin with. And there's hot stuff sitting on the floor. But look, they dance a lot faster in high speed. It's a real regular disco party. <laughs> Somebody sweep that up, please. Get the hot stuff off the floor. How are they doing down here? Slow going because we don't have an architect. Well, we have one now, but... Should maybe make another one. Again, TJ, we'll put TJ in here too. We'll lower his food expectation, save ourselves some stress, get some extra building going on. Uh, we don't have anyone cooking food right now anyway, so on the long run, I think that'll work. Did they build this? Oh, they did build it up here. Good. Okay, so we can set this up for shine bugs. Where are you? Set that for Phosphorite. We'll do Shine Nymph. I hate how it resets to the top when you click on it. That kind of sucks. Store is not assigned. There we go. Okay, perfect. So they'll put some Phosphorite up there. Oh, it's funny. They went over here to build the drywall before going down here to build the stuff I told them to do earlier. It's all the same priority. You know what? I should actually set a higher priority on the oxygen setup. Because this is going to be more important in the long run. Is it true you can deconstruct the abandoned buildings now? Or rather they added that. Um, yeah, apparently it is. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to deconstruct all of them. But we'll have to see. Um, and, and apparently they, they had were before giving Neutronium back. They're not going to do that anymore. So we'll see how what happens. Start staggering your schedule so they can all get washed and go to the toilet. And their morale will be the highest. Highest they have completed. Oh, yeah, that's probably a good idea. I probably should stagger. We do have a lot of them. What's that blooping? It's when the, the, the day starts and the cycle changes for, like, different jobs. Or, like, the different tasks. So, see how they have, like, bath time, all this work time, then downtime, bedtime? So, they get a different cycle going. If you want to put an arcade machine there, but you should get more power first. Oh, yeah, we need a lot of power. We rushed through to get the, the, uh, the Jukebot early. 
Uh, I didn't necessarily need to have that built right away. I just really wanted it to, to check it out. So I kind of... Sometimes when I'm streaming, I'm not really playing the game necessarily the same order I might if I was just playing it myself. But I wanted to see the jukebox. So we built... We sort of rushed a power supply system to be able to feed it. Uh, but before we can do the arcade cabinet, we gotta we have to get a better uh, power grid going. Snoops with a two dollar super chat. Yay! Have you gone to bed? I can spend all his money. Oh, Snoops! <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Hubby ever sees this, I'm sorry for your wallet. <laughs> oh, yep. See, we ran out of algae again. So this oxygen system is definitely our number one priority. Well, maybe number two. We, we need we need oxygen production, so let's get some algae. <laughs> Bring on the algaes. We have some miners. They can focus on doing that specifically. Uh, this ladder can go farther. That will give us access to all this algae. Actually, you know what? I'm not even worried about the gas in here. Let's just cut everything in. Should take it all. Fox has prison architect, I think. Uh, I do have prison architect, yeah. I don't know that I played it yet, but I have it. Ooh, man, stress 39%. Stress is going to become a major factor now. Like, it's... Like, handling that morale... Might be a little bit different if you start your game off, because then you kind of progress your people maybe a little bit more slowly. You only promote them when you really need that job, as opposed to promoting them just because. So we'll have to be a little cautious of that, I think. How big is this space in here? Actually, this isn't even a fine room yet. I guess I can't even measure it, right? No. They said something about not needing doors on rooms anymore, too. But I'm not sure how they would determine what's a room then and how many tiles you have encompassed within it. It was in the patch notes, and I'm not really entirely sure what they were getting at with that. So that might take a little bit of exploring also. Uh, we do need more storage space. Naturally, one, two, three... It's gonna be a little narrow down here. Uh, all right, we'll put we'll put a little storage thing in here. It's gonna be another storage floor. For those of you who have OCD, I'm sorry, but this is just not gonna line up with pretty much anything. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna make sure I have room to put pictures above this because I. Oh no, this pump's gonna be in the way. Just no winning. That's going to be in the way, too. No, that should work. They can still hop across there. Okay. Good lord, this is going to be ugly. We're going to have to do a whole, like, rebuild later. Like, later on, when we're, like, farther along in cycles, we're going to have to kind of go and, like, redesign where we're doing our storage and relocate things. Right now, I'm just trying to cram everything I can into the livable space. We'll got to go from there. I'm going to use your mobile natural gas generator to help power your base. <laughs> yeah, I have a whole bunch of it stored up over here. This is all fart power sequestered in this little room here. Now, the way we built our oxygen, it actually pushed the natural gas to a lower point. So I can't collect it right now. But we... Oh, you know what? Let's just not get somebody's head stuck in the floor. Let's deconstruct that. That could become a problem later if somebody pees in the water, but I'm willing to risk it. God, there's always one. Why? Why, dear duplicate? Why? On the plus side, Evangeline has tons of oxygen because they've got their own very own personal oxalite. All right, deconstruct this. Okay, guys, so much you build that up the proper way now. Please don't jump through there to, to build it again. Please, oh please. doing oh they had to jump into little rooms to take a breath okay uh power systems i didn't i didn't hook up the wiring yet so this down here is going to need to go like so make this into here and then here and then down into here that'll get our wiring set up we also need plumbing of course plumbing now here's the here's the rub 
the water that I'm going to be using to supply this for oxygen is also going to be the water that we're using for cooling. So this is definitely going to be on a timer. This is not an infinite supply source. Uh, we are going to need to find another source of water in order to make this whole thing work. But we'll cross that river when we get to it. Or pond, or water storage containment area. I don't know what you want to call it. <laughs> it's, it's not really a bridge, because it's the water. Dupes get a dupe. <laughs> yeah. Dupes got a dupe. Oh, yeah, look at that stress. Most of that is being driven by our food. So if we take a look at the uh, consumables... You can see we're right now eating meal lice, which is on the absolute bottom end of the scale. Like, there's nothing lower. Even, like, mush bars are higher on the scale than meal lice are. Now, we could go to mush fry, but this consumes a lot of water. We could go to lice loaf, which would be which would be better, but similarly, it consumes a lot of water, and that's kind of a problem. Um, I think what I might need to do is bump our way up to using lice loaf for now. Which will require me to lower this. Because we're going to need more water. Uh, deconstruct that. Oh, boy. Set this for Lice Loaf. So the duplicates can munch away on that. That will save us um, a little bit of morale challenges for now. While we kind of work on sorting out our garden system. Ooh, man, we're almost done. We're so close. I think that should be the next challenge. Break as many OCD rules in one play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some people might be disappointed by Cryptic Fox. No uh, no Fortnite, Oni, LOL, and LOL about the dupe and the little trap. <laughs> uh, yeah. Can't trap people in Fortnite, but I can manage to do it in Oxygen Unoccluded. What the? Oh, they're smelling the fart juice and not liking it. See, the unfortunate thing is, we have this was a really good setup for collecting on this level, but now everything's moved down on me. <laughs> Jurassic Park, please. Yep, I'm going to be doing more of that, but I need to find time to record first. I have a lot of stuff I need to record, actually. I, I, gotta get, I really need to pick up my efficiency a little bit. <laughs> I've been doing that forever. Ladder spiraling everywhere. No toilets, no sweeping. Oh my gosh, that'd be awful. Self-inducing claustrophobia since 2016. <laughs> That's right. Okay, this is our last research item, the celestial detection. So that's when we're up on the surface, we can use it to detect meteors that are incoming. So that'll be handy. Um, they haven't really been getting around to building any of this, which is funny. But that's okay. They're focusing on the stuff. What the? What is wrong with... We don't even... <laughs> I'm confused. We don't even have an espresso machine yet. What is wrong here? <laughs> Just go get some air. Oh, they can't get through here. Well, drat. The only storage thing, the only storage thing they built so far is the one that's on a section they can't jump through. That's great. All right, fine. Uh, deconstruct that. I'm just going to build the ladder up higher here. Deconstruct this too. I'm super confused what's wrong with these guys. <laughs> Cody, you're doing the same thing as Snoopy Doopy Doop or whatever it was. I can't remember. Run for it. I think, I think that we're going to have a problem. There's actually not enough air down here, so they're running down, running out of air, and then having to go back up again before they get anything done. That's really not very helpful. Our, our cleaners are doing a good job. They're sweeping like crazy. Our builders aren't doing much at all. Chapter Gamer with a super chat. Clean all your toilet water and use excess for electrolyzer. It will help you say, to save water. Uh, yeah, ultimately, I'm going to I'm gonna take the this water here and clean it and just pump it directly into the electrolyzer. I just would like to get a little bit more of a reservoir. I mean, if we... Um, 
Can I connect that into the line? You know, I probably can. All right, so here's what we'll do. Here's our plumbing. Let's use our pipe emptier over here. If they get that job done in a reasonable time frame, we can switch this out for the pipe bridge. And we'll swap the bridge to this side. So we've cleaned it. And we use it. Use the excess to pump over here instead. Oh. Well, this is going really well. <laughs> Apparently, the system was kind of full of stuff. There we go. Okay, now deconstruct these pipes here. Break it, break it. They're thinking about coffee time already. All right, plumbing. We use our pipe bridge on this side. After all the work we did to put the pipe bridge on the other side, we're not going to put it over here. Insulated pipe like so. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Deconstruct this. Lots of reworking to do. The oxygen they're trying to get keeps moving out of the range. Oh, so they're like... Well, there's no, there's nothing down there. Like, it's all... There's literally no oxygen down there. I mean, maybe there was a tiny little pocket down there at some point, but... It'd be really odd for it to shift that fast for them to have a run back and forth. Like, that's not, that's really unusual. Wait, iron ore. Oh, okay. Plumbing insulated pipe. Um, all right, we're going to connect this here now instead. I'm just going to leave that pipe bridge in place because there's no point destroying it. It doesn't really do anything. For now, I'm going to leave it set to the overflow until they finish getting the piping built down here for me. Uh, and then we can connect into that piping instead as like a little branch, and we can add in the excess water from this into our electrolyzer flow. Infinite loop. <laughs> Dude, dude needs to be scrubbed soon. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's hovering around a 1,000, so it's not that bad. But you're right. If oxygen levels drop off, it's going to expand quick. I don't even know where I'm going to put my scrubber at this point. I made kind of a big mess down here. This is one messy colony. We need to get some other, uh, some other plants and stuff growing, too. Meal ice is fine for... Oops, I forgot I broke this over here. Uh, meal ice is fine for supplying food for them early on, but I mean, obviously they're going to need a different food supply as things progress. Woo -woo. Omelets will set your dupes free. <laughs> yeah, once we get a, enough of a, a ranch going where they can produce enough eggs to actually eat them. The omelets are amazing. So is the barbecue, but again, you need pinch of pepper nuts for that. I mostly want to make the, uh, the omelets just for the sake of, like, having fun with it. Or, uh, the, the barbecue, rather. Because I've never really done a whole bunch of that. Usually we get to the point where things are getting to those higher stages where we might start to consider other food sources that way, and then a new update comes out and I switch to start a new colony. I'm a chronic col colony builder. Let's get that out of here. Set this for same storage settings. For the area, it looks in an average of the day, not just localized. Oh, okay, that's good. For the um, eating at fart level. <laughs> oh, they are eating down there. I'm going to make a dining hall for them ultimately, but I'm going to make sure it's going to be oxygenated enough. How oh, hot's it down here? She's a warm. Ooh, look. This tile is actually cool when in here. Oh, wait a minute. Nope, never mind. We're putting in a hot tile into cool spaces. That's amazing. <laughs> Fabulous. So to heat everything up for the sake of fun. Pinch of pepper is needed for the espresso machine. It is, yeah. I guess it sort of takes the place of the coffee bean. You have to grind that up. It's funny. Oh, you, Draco. It's a good thing they don't eat the food. Gonna go round those guys up at some point too. Okay, let's get some priority because they're kind of running all over the place, and I want them to work on the stuff I specifically need. So let's focus on this, please, and that, and that. Uh, you need to do this, all this, and eh, everything down here, pretty much.
Stress is skyrocketing. It is, yeah. I mean, that's only well, only one dupe in particular. If they can get on the, on the uh, massage table, that will help. But uh, again, a lot of it comes down to the vitals here, right? So we're kind of hovering on that line for stress for a bunch of them. But then Cody, for example, not really, not doing so good. Not liking his food. Same thing with, with Wolfio. Well, three of eight. Poor decor. I wonder where they're spending their time that they're getting that poor decor effect. I mean, it could be anywhere down here because things are not really nice down here in general. Dude needs to work the granulator for uh, to use for sand. Use sandstone, granite, igneous for 100% sand. Um, yeah, I mean, well, let's let's see what we have here in terms of filtration medium. I mean, we have 88.1 tons of sand, so I'm not really in a rush to worry about that right now. <laughs> I don't think you can get the mush bar now. Um, well, potentially not, but I'm actually making a lice loaf. Ooh, and actually, these storage boxes are not set up to hold lice loaf. I hate how I have to keep checking these every time I start to make something new. But I guess it kind of makes sense. In case you wanted to store them one place in particular, you wouldn't want the other ones to just default to storing it. We're at algae again. Just, again, good times. Strip another layer off over here. Come on, guys. I need you to finish this so we can actually have a whole system going down here. What's our power grid down here? I'm going to make a, a brief connection here to the power grid, too. So we can use that to prime everything once it's going. Uh, this should be set to... All this stuff waiting for iron ore. Why is that? You can't jump over the water pump now, can you? Uh, no, they hop down into the water pump and go over. <laughs> this is the weirdest setup. Yeah, uh, yeah well, never mind. They can get through there. They're just hopping through it. It just looks a little weird. Mostly because this water system, I'm just draining it out from where it is. I mean, realistically, if I was going to do this for a long period of time, I should have a separate reservoir set up for it over here. Move enough water into here and just pump it to it consistently, but I'm not going to do that. Good evening, Crypto Fox. How are you today? Hope for more videos. Thanks, Cerberus. Appreciate the super chat. Welcome to the stream. Pleasant chit chat. <laughs> They're getting bonuses for pleasant chit chat. Stress is still high. Oh, you know why their stress is high? They're the people that are on cleaning duty. <laughs> like, forget this job. I hate this place. <laughs> Build a large mess hole with help of stress. Yeah, I just want to make sure I can keep it oxygenated. If they go in there to eat, and then there's no oxygen for them, they might get upset with me. Um. Maybe we can put a couple of these in here and get the CO2 to go down. All right, what do we need for the large mess hall? Great hall. Get some morale boost. Uh, mess tables, no industrial machinery, minimum size 32, maximum size 120, nice. 20 plus in decor. And they need a recreational building in there. Wow, demanding or what? Okay, furniture, we'll give them a water cooler. Oh, right. That was connected to that. <laughs> I don't even need that thing anymore. Uh, okay, furniture. We'll get the water cooler. I'll stick it at the far end. Hopefully, they'll choose not to use it. They'll go to the actual rec room for that use. Um, in furniture, we're going to need mess tables. Starting with the $2 super chat. Hashtag SDV Wednesday. This game is stressful. Farm good. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what my schedules are going to look like yet for streaming, Durgan. Um, I'm going to be cutting back on the number of days that I'm streaming. Where I was streaming five or six days a week, it's probably only going to be maybe three days a week for now. Uh, we shall see. One, two, three. That's a, that's a lot of tables. <laughs> um, we'll give them some extra decor stuff down here too, I guess. We'll go with uh, sculpture blocks. We'll give them some paintings. Paintings. 
going to throw a door on it. Now, they did say we don't need a door anymore, but I, again, I, I don't know how that... I don't know how it defines the space if you don't put a door on it, so we're going to put a door on that. Or you know what? Let's cancel it. Let them build it. We'll see what it says. We shall see what it says. Water cooler plus painting and big. Yep, pretty much. Is she looking at the grand hall or just the mess room? I'm looking at the grand hall. We want to make this big and fancy. Get the biggest morale boost we can off it. Because frankly, they all need it. <laughs> Rhymes Fox to play SDV in one of those days. Yeah, I'm definitely going to be playing some more Stardew Valley. Don't worry. Um, I did enjoy that game so far. So it's definitely something I want to play more of. I don't like what's going on here. Gases are filtering in a way that is not super desirable. I must be... I've got to be out of iron ore. Why is nobody bringing the iron ore? Did I turn it all into refined iron? Is that the problem? No, it's sitting way out here. Why is nobody getting it? Huh. I am mega confused. Did I create a scenario where they can't go out that way? They should be able to make that jump. These jumps are all fine. What did I do that stopped them from being able to go where I want them to go? Let's actually take a look. Uh, show navigation. Nope, they can get out there. Interesting. Interesting. Priority on Vent Devil. Yeah, we, we do need that too, but the reality is they're not building anything right now that requires the iron ore. And I don't know why. I don't know why they aren't getting it. I mean, I, this one I can see because it's using refined, and that's fine. They just haven't gotten to that, but... There we go. They're finally building. Good lord. Just took them forever. Durkin, $2 super shot. Bribes, bribes Fox to play STV on a day you're not working. <laughs> well, I don't know what your work schedule is. You're going to have to fill me in on that. <laughs> that could be a minor requirement. There's a gap that can't jump near the ladder going down. Well, I don't know. Like when I click when I click show navigation. Yeah, they can make it the whole way. See, they're going over there. Oh, they can't get far enough because they're running out of air. Well, that's a problem then, isn't it? Some of them some of them can get far enough, but. Man, it's they're really having to hold their breath to get out there. Aw, oh, sorry guys. I didn't realize I was sending you so far. That really stinks. Hashtag STV Wednesday. Buy all the beer. Yeah, beer. Mm, beer. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Snoops. Sadly, I can't have beer right now. Stupid medicine. Priority paralysis, better known as PP. Uh, <laughs> I don't think it's even necessarily that. I only prioritized a couple things. Specifically, all the building stuff down here. Like, if you look at the priorities, this is all fives. Fives, fives, fives. I put these at a six. Some of them are at a six. Oh, well, look at the wiring up here is at a five. Um, I think it was more just that they, they just weren't going out there to get it, because maybe they were tackling other things, but... But, yeah, see, they're running out of air before they even get there. That's bad. Bad news, bears. Um, I mean, I could give them an oxygen supply down here, like a little room maybe that has... What is this? All This is all CO2 down here. Okay, I have an idea. This is going to stink from a... From a... Ugh, God, this is going to be slow, slow moving though. Is, is this even going to work? I'm trying to give them like a little... A little spot they can rest up with oxygen before they go out into that nastiness. Which who failed forecast liquid copper. <laughs> uh, I need them to finish this down here really badly. <laughs> it's so close to being done. Uh, 
Someone's room's getting a little remodeling. On the plus side, we do have some oxygen coming in from out here. Obviously, it's not a lot, but there's a little bit. If we dig that, it'll expose more. We get a little more oxygen flow. Oh, and now it's break time. And toilet time, obviously. <laughs> Am I going to add more dupes? Oh, gosh. Not right now. I'm not. Oxygen is uh, kind of an issue at the moment. I don't really want them consuming more of it. I will add more dupes if we get to the point where the colony is stabilized. We have a good source of food that's at a decent quality level that we're not just going to negatively impact everybody's stress level. And if we can get a good oxygen supply incoming, then that will be good. Uh, but until then, I'm not going to be adding any more. <laughs> I feel like that would just be a recipe for death. And we might be on our way there already. Every time I play this game, I always say, you know what? I'm going to switch over to away from algae sooner. And then I get distracted doing stuff like building jukeboxes. <laughs> Let's get to work in that bedroom. Dig that wall. There we go. We have algae again. Get them to sweep on the algae so I can close that opening again. Try to keep the heat trapped. Your life stinks. Uh, all right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. No breaks. Back to work. I know, right? No game you should play besides RimWorld. I'm definitely going to be playing RimWorld. Uh, Kenshi. I haven't seen Kenshi. I haven't seen Kenshi. I'll have to check that out. Don't worry, that's why these streams are so much fun. <laughs> you know, I feel like you—I feel like you're right. It, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun if it was a like a certain outcome. Like if you know for sure everything was just gonna go swimmingly, there'd be no challenges to try to solve for. Personally, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I just think it's more entertaining when stuff goes wrong. We most of the time get it all sorted. Most of the time. <laughs> All right, I should probably fix fix the insulation here now. Plug up that heat source over there. Oxygen production's underway again. Actually, the uh, the natural gas is the level where I could filter it again if we had power for it. And if I had a place I could put it, because it won't pump in there anymore. It's a very small community game, but you'll probably enjoy it. I should have to check that out. Told that if you sacrifice the flash on the dupe to the gods, they will reward you with a natural gas geyser. <laughs> we already have a natural gas geyser. It's up here. And then there's uh, there's another geyser hiding like right here. I'm not sure what type it is, though. I don't see much else out here yet. This is so close to being done. Like, just... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we actually finished? No, they need... I need this stuff connected to the power supply. So, we're going to sub-priority seven. Build me that. And then in our plumbing setup over here, we need insulated liquid pipes to connect to... I got to make sure I connect this in the right spot or things just aren't going to work right. Like that, and then we'll deconstruct these pipes here. Like so. You're supposed to be the next dupe to come to the colony. By the way, my name is Victoria Kelly. I can't make any promises, because um, I don't know what I'm going to bring the next duplicate in, and I have a memory like a goldfish. So we'll see when we bring a duplicate in. We, at the rate this is going, I have a feeling we're not bringing any duplicates in tonight because things aren't really stabilizing all that well. Need more mystery meat. I saw some mystery meat over here. They're sleeping and he's playing the 
playing the jukebot. <laughs> Who is that? Wolf, yo, totally inconsiderate. Play loud music right above the duplicates who are trying to sleep. And below them, too, actually. Need up priority on O2 vent. Uh, yep, they'll need that too, I guess, right? She said that at a 7 2. What's our plumbing over here? Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, that's weird. We don't need that. We don't need that connection anymore. We'll just use a regular one here. Please and thank you. Um, so priority 7 on these. I don't know if this connection is going to work right. We'll have to see. We may end up with like a weird system where it's not letting the water join the flow. I'll have to check that out. Not that kind of mystery meat. You know which meat you're talking about. I know. <laughs> Graveyard Keeper. Oh, yeah. We moved a little bit of water. Oh, it was in the pipes already. I get it. Okay, let's turn this on. Naval building. Come on, guys. We're close to getting a good flow of oxygen. You just got to do a little more work. I mean, that'll be 500 grams of uh, oxygen per second. Which is a pretty decent amount. I mean, your regular electrolyzer here, what does it produce? Yeah, I'll do the oxidizer, rather. That produces 500 grams per second. So, we'll effectively be swapping out the, the placement of one of these. So, I can basically turn this one off. So we'll use less algae in the other one, but we're still going to need another one of these oxygen rooms. One isn't going to be enough for a colony this size. It's okay, I just want my sister to be in the colony. I get it. Cannibalistic stress response would be interesting. Oh no, all that, all that poor duplicate eating. <laughs> it's almost done, guys. Just a little more. Just a little more. Look, stop. Oh, they're doing artwork and stuff, but it's just, a, just a little wire. Just a little bit. Sorry, I'm late. Sorry to offend. Uh, friends, we have a surprise party. She almost peed her pants. It was amazing. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad you didn't have to mop any of that up off the floor, but welcome to the stream. Glad the party went well. Uh, okay, you can't go in there. Oh, wait a minute. I need them to deconstruct this tile. This one here, turn the door off. Nobody go in there anymore because that's going to be hydrogen. I'm not interested in this anymore. Let's nobody go in there. Okay. This is all set for hydrogen. I'm going to lower this to 750 grams. And there's not enough power. <laughs> After I connected it to the power grid, there's no power running this stuff. What's going on here? Disabled by the automation grid. Okay, that's fine. Pipe block. Did they not finish that vent yet? No, they did. Why is that pipe blocked? Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. Good times. The tile that I broke right here had a pipe behind it, of course. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? Let's get priority eight on that. Fix that quickly, please. Can you add another electrolyzer later in the game uh, to the same system? Yeah, you could set this up with... Uh, I could have like a second pump and a second electrolyzer. That would work too. Like, just, like if I expanded it out to this side kind of thing. teleporting pipes <laughs> the only thing is that um, uh, if you connect them up to the same pipe though like for the output you you, you wouldn't gain any extra oxygen because they would alternate which one was taking it on okay that's running now we have an incoming flow of that let's disconnect here deconstruct that Quickly, before the drains the power on my batteries. No, oh, come on. It's kind of important, guys. You gotta deconstruct fast. Like, like break this quick. 
Go, go, go. There we go. Thank you. Now, I hope there's enough power left in these or we're going to have a problem. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Excellent. All right, so we have uh, we have one consistent flow of oxygen going. Let's check temperatures now. Uh, the oxygen coming up through this pipe is... 29 degrees. Actually, that's not very hot. Did they change temperatures on these things? Nope. All right, it just doesn't have a chance to get hot. That's all. So that's fine. Uh, that will continue to produce oxygen. It's going to come through here. It's going to come out of this water at a nice balmy 22 degrees, I would imagine. Insulated gas pipe 22.4, so that's perfect, which means up here we're pumping at 22, uh, 23. Nice. Okay. That's good, because we ran out of algae again. <laughs> Let's make algae the next priority, at least for a little bit. Gather all this. Can you dig on the left uh, side to push down CO2, CO2 levels? Uh, I could, yeah, but the reality is it's, it's a pressure it's a it's a pressure thing at this point. So the oxygen up top is around 800 800 grams. The CO2 that's down here is around 700 and change. So it's just gonna find like an equilibrium between the two. So I could dig down lower a little bit. Um, we're already getting to the bottom of the the main area already. So we'd be digging down into the slime if I went much lower than this. Um, I should be setting up a scrubber in here at some point. So we can start to scrub out some of the CO2. That would probably be a good notion. Oh, this stinky natural gas over here. This dining hall is going to be really rank. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all in unbreathable gases. They may not be happy about eating in there, even if they do like the room, once it's ultimately finished. Probably should consider getting something set up here sooner rather than later for scrubbing out CO2. We'll grab our carbon skimmer. Scrubber, whatever. No, skimmer. Uh, we'll need that. We're going to need another sieve in order to do this job, though. Yeah, I can't really afford to pump it from anywhere else. So. Oh, man. Look at the water level go down already. This is going to drain fast. Not thrilled with that. Oh, what do we got going on here? The water's not flowing the direction I thought it would. All right, we backed up the whole system by connecting it. Uh, that's what I was worried about. Um, let's deconstruct this here. This is my primary concern with connecting it in this way. Is that if the, if the pipe is full, it lacks for a place to send it, and then this is all backed up, our bathrooms are going to stop soon. All right, I, this isn't going to work. Emergency build. Um, plumbing. Connect it back up over here. Not going to work. Not going to work. Would any of these work plants on one tile down in the corner of the room in the oxygen room? Down the surrounding air enough. No, I, I generally find that one one weasel word's not going to do the job for you. Usually, it takes a it takes more than that. So I found that when I was pumping air out of the out of this electrolyzer system, a room that had three or four weasel warts in it was enough with uh, with the radiant piping to cool it down as it went through. So that's something we can set up down in this lower area later on. Like once we get to the point. Um, well, actually, no, we need to re we need to replenish the water that's in here because this is feeding our system. Water is going to be a problem very soon, unless we start to gather it from somewhere else. I'd like to find a geyser that has some. Let's do a quick check around and see if we've uncovered any more any more possible geyser formations. That's another uh, cold biome over there. More cold biome. No, just this one that's up here that we don't know what it is. No. Anytime our duplicates have to go that far outside of the colony, though, I don't have any exosuits built for these poor guys. Guys and gals. Look around from sieve to pool. Yeah, ultimately, I want to use the water that's here. This polluted water, I want to pump this into the, uh, the electrolyzer.
Yeah, they're only making food with that. So we actually, we probably are fine. I could, you know what? I'm going to get rid of this other pitcher pump. Actually, what are they using it for anymore? Just the sink here, I think, right? Uh, research is done, so we can deconstruct those. So we don't have to worry about consuming water for that anymore. Deconstruct that building. Deconstruct this building. What do we have here? What is using the water? I think the only bottled water now is in food production. Which is a problem, because I, I don't like using it for that, but I need to bump the morale up a little bit. Uh, and this one sink here. Or this wash basin. And I don't think I even need the wash basin, as long as I don't go down into this mucky water. So let's deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. And rather than sending this water all the way over to here once we've cleaned it, I don't really care that it has germs in it. We're going to dump it right in this tank. As long as they're not collecting that water to use it to create food, then it really shouldn't be a problem. Liquid vents. Uh, deconstruct. That's not moving anyway. Why is that not moving? What do I do with my plumbing setup? I confused the heck out of my poor plumbing system. <laughs> with all the little connections I made, nothing was moving. This whole bathroom is so backed up right now. They've got to do this quick or we're going to have pee all over the place again. It's gonna be... Come on, guys. Top priority on this thing. Get it finished before break time, please! Quickly! There we go. Now they can use the bathrooms again. Hooray! Was the water meant to flow to the bathrooms? It took to the intake on br bridge outflow. Um, no, no, it wasn't meant to go to the bathrooms. That's the overflow pipe. So look at all that overflow. All right, so this is its own closed loop system. This is simply the overflow, but now we're actually gonna send the overflow into here. Unfortunately, it has germs in it. Um, so it's gonna make all this water down here really germy. But it doesn't really matter. When you pump it into your electrolyzer to produce oxygen, you're gonna get germy oxygen that when you pump into your colony might have airborne food poisoning germs. But the duplicates never get sick off that, so it's actually fine. Uh, I was connecting it to this to send it over to this basin, uh, which I don't need to do anymore. Dupes get germy when carrying bottles of polluted water if you don't want to use, use it sink. Um, I'm not super worried about it. We have one other sink up here that has a wash basin, so anyone who's washing, who's doing the washing, can, or the cooking rather, at least will wash their hands. But they're also going to get the water from this basin that's right next to it, so it's okay. Hopefully they wash their hands when they use the bathroom, and that will kind of take care of that. But there, there aren't that many polluted bottles of water they have to carry around anymore, because this is the only one that they're going to be emptying. So hopefully, cross our fingers, we won't wind up with too many germs. Oh, I forgot, they go over there with the... Uh, polluted dirt. Well, isn't that good times? <laughs> I can't win. It's fine. <laughs> this is fine. Is that picture of the little dog with the burning house? This is fine. Give me more algae, please. Ooh, this one I want to turn off. Uh, disable building. Air pressures are looking better, at least. That's something. Just need to improve this corner down here. But again, I think I need to, I really need to get some scrubbing going. Let's set up another refinement system for the water safety. Ooh, that's not going to fit. That's a little bit tall. Well, that doesn't work. Dag nabbit. In this colony, are you able to change the break time now? I created the colony this morning and was able to change dupes schedules before I set up first rooms. Um, yes, you can change break schedules around now. So if you click on the little clock over here, you get a pop-up. And you can add new schedules, so you can put duplicates on different schedules. 
So, for example, if I wanted some of them going to the bathroom at one segment of time and some of them going at a different one, then we could do that. So they don't necessarily all have to wake up at the same time, even. Uh, I'm going to toy around with that and kind of find out what I want to do with it. For right now, it's okay. They're all going to the bathroom at the same time. But there's four toilets there. They can do, like, three or four quick rounds of it. It doesn't seem like anyone's having any accidents at the moment, so it's okay for now. But I am going to want to improve that later. But like I said, I kind of want to experiment a little bit with it and see what a good system is. I, I think it's probably going to be relatively simple. Just stagger the time frames that people have to use the bathroom so that they all get an opportunity. But Today I made some mashed potatoes, carrots, and your dad liked it. If you need to cook the colony, choose me. <laughs> At the moment, we're not doing a lot of cooking. Oh, actually, we were doing cooking. I forgot I'd retask my cooks to do something else. But they still have the skill, so that's fine. Jobs mastered. All these wonderful jobs I could be promoting people to, but <laughs> we just don't have the don't have the stress capability right now. All right, so this is where we're gonna put our hatch ranch, I guess. But I do need to have it some sort of an enclosed system here where the hatches aren't gonna run away on me. Sort of nomadic door down here, maybe. <laughs> You set up so their dupes working 24 hours have morning, evening, and swing shift? Yeah, you, I mean, you can. You can just change their work schedule around altogether. Um, so yeah, theoretically, you could have some duplicates working all the time. The tricky part would be whether you have the right duplicate set up with the right job skill set in order to do all the different types of jobs you want them to do at any given moment. Like, you could almost set up like all your duplicates that are cleaning, maybe have them running around and do all the cleaning at night. <laughs> Something like that. Oh, why am I building that? Cancel. I can't, I can't feed it right now. Maybe create a new schedule, vacation, no work for dupe that's 90% stress or higher. That might be interesting, yeah. Put them on holidays, rest leave, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I don't want to clean all the air out here, so let's try to make this these doors sooner rather than later, please. The idea was to build the door so they'd have a tiny little oxygen space in here. But instead it's going to be full of chlorine and then they're not going to get the air I wanted anyway. Good times. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a mixed chlorine and oxygen in there. That's good breathing right there. Donning has become a fart farm. Oh yeah, I know. It's full of gas. It's not good. I need to take the pump that I had over here. Ooh, you know what? I might be able to. I already have all the piping. Okay, if we reverse this, like, we de deconstruct this. I'm curious to see whether we can build a pipe up here, or uh, a pump up here. We might not be able to above the water cooler. Let's find out. Inquiring minds want to know. Gas pump. Ooh, I can't. Throw a little pipe in here. Bloop. All right, so that'll pump the gas through to the filter, which we'll need to reverse. But that's fine. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct this. So we're going to pump from this side. Filter out. The, it'll take everything and send it through. Filter out the gas and then... Maybe I should try to have the filter over here. I think I will. This colony is looking ugly. <laughs> I built stuff in so many random places this time around. As I was rushing to get stuff ready, I was more worried about like getting access to the new, uh, the new entertainment items more than anything else. To be entirely honest. All right, let's put the filter like right below here. I'm going to use my ventilation pipe in here. I want uh, the gas to go out over to here. I want to deconstruct gas pipes in here. And the rest of the floor I'll just put back right here. That way I don't steal all the oxygen from the rest of the space over here and just fill it with CO2 because that would stink. As a Canadian, will you at some point play Death Road to Canada? Uh, I have no idea what that is, so I don't know. 
Why are you spazzing out? Just go get it. There you go. <laughs> now who's up again? Work with me, people. Work with me. Okay, this one can go here. I'm gonna put a ventilation outlet right there. This one's gonna be set for natural gas. It's already set, that's funny. Uh, it does need power. Same as everything else. This needs power over here. Da -da -da. This gas pump can just go right into there. No more filtering required. It's not a pretty setup, but theoretically we should filter all the fart juice out of the uh, out of the dining hall. Filter the natural gas out of it, send it off to our room to be compressed in here. Now that this is going, we can start to make use of this a little bit. Okay, let's check our automation wire. Did I set one up on here? I can't remember. I did not. Smart battery, we wanna say like, active when it's at like 10, turn it off when it's at like 90. Eh, 95, whatever. Yeah, go like that. See how that goes. Duplicates are so smart. Ermagerd, who knew a th throat infection was good for anything? Turns out you wake up before 30 to watch some cryptic box. Hi, Android Gaming. Sorry to hear you have a throat infection. That really stinks. I hate throat infections, they suck. Makes eating and swallowing such a pain. There should be a door to make it a room in the Great Hall. Uh, there should be, yeah. So they did say that in the patch notes that doors were no longer required in order to define a room. So I'm really curious to see what they meant by that. I'm wondering if you just leave a space that's big enough for it to be a door, if it, if it applies. So I'm kind of experimenting to see. They haven't built any of the tables here yet anyway, so they still have more work to do here um, before we find anything out. But I'm just curious. Sort of a quick experiment to see what happens. Give me this. Thank you. Thank you very much. So it's good. They're coming down here. They are getting a little bit of oxygen out of this room, which is good. This, this door is not the most efficient setup, unfortunately, but... <laughs> They're all breathing right outside the <laughs> right outside the room. So it is it's saving them from having to go all the way up here, which means they're recovering the metal a little bit more efficiently. So that's good. I mean, it's still not a good setup for them. I really do need to get exosuits going again. But really, with the with the oxygen fund we've been having, I probably shouldn't be too worried about exosuits because they take a lot. Control a car full of jerks as they explore cities, recruit weird people, rescue dogs, argue with each other, and face gigantic swarms of slow zombies. That actually sounds like an interesting game I might want to check out. <laughs> Stand by for Windows 95. Yes, you're not ready to think of Windows when you hear 95, 98. <laughs> Death Road to Canada is a semi-linear adventure survival type game where you're fighting zombies on the way to Canada. That's funny. That's funny. Oh, the wire's connected. We just need this pump over here now. This would be good over here, too. This can be... No power. Oh, we just flicked the switch. That's right. That's right. Let's start this going. All right. Turn on. Let's. See. I want to see how long the fart gas will last in here, powering a single natural gas generator. I'm guessing not that long. <laughs> but it might help a little bit. I'm really curious. It's connected to the main power grid, um, which would mean we wouldn't have to run on the treadmills anymore. If this works. Let's uh, let's put these maybe at a lower priority. All right, they're gonna run on the treadmills anyway. That's good. You guys do your thing. Why is this not working? Did I hook up my gas connections wrong? No, that seems right. Insufficient resources. Disabled by automation grid. Oh. The smart battery has got too much going on. I actually need the smart battery to be... Oh, you know what? I need, I need this to be gated a little bit differently. Oh. 
Okay, you guys stop running on these. I need to see how this works. Disable building. So this should tap out the batteries, and then this should turn on, in theory. We are actually replenishing some of the gas in here, so that's good. Wow, it drew up quite a bit. Cut it by, like, half in terms of pressure. Will the pump be counted as heavy machinery? Um, yes, probably. But I need to get the, the natural gas out of there. I could destroy it later. Oh, it's working! It's working! It's alive! I want to see if it ever actually powers up enough for it to turn off. Might take a while. <laughs> New sponsor! Welcome, Niobe! Thanks for the sponsorship, Niobe. I appreciate that. Thank you for supporting the channel. Enjoy the custom emojis, of which I think we have uh, ten or so of them, I think. Plus you get the fancy little uh, foxhead logo next to your name in the chat, too. And my undying gratitude. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, this, um... This gas pumps will re represent a problem that way, but... We're cycling oxygen in just a little loop over here. <laughs> Poor hatch. Which one? Oh, the one that was in here? Was there a hatch? Oh, there is no one in there. Aw, oh, poor little guy. Yeah, he's toast. Oh, look, we have baby hatches. Hello, little hatchling. Okay, let's make this officially our ranch now. How big is this room? Room size, 114 tiles. And the stable can be... 96. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Okay, if we add some floors and stuff in here, this will certainly change the size of the room. So let's go like so. Uh, I need to get the hatches out of the floor down here. <laughs> and I also need them to dig this out, so I'm actually I'm not going to net anything. Good times. If you have enough to qualify for a normal mess, I think you have enough to qualify for a normal Yeah, probably. What did I run out of? Iron ore? They were building tables out of iron ore? That's crazy. All right. Mine some more. It's like eating in a dwarven fortress. It's like they're eating on iron tables. <laughs> or a school cafeteria, maybe. Timothy Cousineau, $1 super chat. Thank you for the, the uh, super chat, Timothy. Appreciate that. Snoops, hashtag hatch lives matter. $2 super chat. Live epically, $2. This is the fun to hatch rescue. Oh man, all right. We don't have showers, this is gonna be really bad. All right, we gotta grab this. Okay, and we're going to need to wrangle. Ooh, can I even wrangle it? What's on the ground anymore? Wrangle. There we go. I'm not sure if they'll wrangle them when they're in the ground. Hopefully they will. I hope it's not a futile rescue. Oh, and I also need to, we need to drop off point, too. I probably should do that. Uh, in food, we want critter drop off point. We'll put that over here, I guess. Hashtag, $2 super chat from Snoops. Hashtag save the hatch. Great Panami, $2. This is for hatch seasoning. Delicious. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> we don't have, uh, we can't make barbecue. We don't have pitcher pepper glands. I love to know how they said that these rooms can be defined with a door now. Like, I'm super curious about that. I don't think this needs to be here anymore because we got rid of all the fart juice. So, so, so we can actually uh, start that. All right, so that worked for a quick cleanup job. Uh, I think I should probably set something a little bit more permanently down below here to try to filter out the natural gas, particularly since... We're down to the micrograms. <laughs> this is not going to run very long. Um, Did that happen? He jumped out on his own. <laughs> All he had to do was build an opening. He rescued himself. That's amazing. Oh, okay, that was really... Really? Come on. <laughs> All right, I guess I better plan to put a ladder there anyway, just in case he goes back down. Rotten hatch. It's taunting me now. Another $2 for Save the Hatch Fund. 
Where did he bury himself? Did he go back to... He went back into stinky water. You know, he hopped out all on his own and then just changed his mind. <laughs> this is the fun to hatch... <laughs> to fund hatch extermination. Oh, they win with a $3 super chat. Looking to terminate some hatch lives. Hashtag hatch lives equal barbecue. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bad, bad time that we're fighting over whether hatches live or die. What kind of a society is this? trigger system that says that if this thing does stops running then turn the treadmills back on I feel like that's what I want but I don't think there's an indic I don't think there's a way to do that with this type of an indicator unless I say like one if this gets to zero but I don't think even that works need like a second battery in order to do the second condition all right let's enable these things before we run out of power again <laughs> So we burned up all the fart power, we created a vacuum, and uh, yeah, it didn't last very long. We need a much more consistent supply. BDS Empire, $2 super chat, hooray for the self-starter hatch. <laughs> He's still down there though. Nobody's gotten got him. Uh, we're gonna set this for hatches in particular to drop them off, and hatchlings too, I guess. Hatches and hatchlings, they can all hang out in here. Snoops, $2 super chat, need a rancher? Uh, I think we have a rancher, don't we? No, we don't. I didn't move Spookus because we weren't ready, but now we have a rancher. That will make all the difference in the world in the whole ranching thing. <laughs> and also boost our stress levels, which is gonna be just fun times. Okay, on this upper level, I want to have more stuff. We need our critter feeder. So that's fine. What else do we need? We need a grooming station. Uh, which is in the stations, not in the food area. So we'll throw a grooming station in here. Like so. I'm going to try and create like a little, like a funny little multi-level thing here that the hatches can bounce around in. And hopefully consume up enough tiles to turn this into a proper room. Because right now we have 115 tiles. I have to block off a lot of space. Then I can start, I guess, easily enough just by blocking it here. Just wrangle all these guys out of here. And we're going to put a storage container up here too for eggs. Actually, if I do that, they're going to likely hatch on me in there. <laughs> or not hatch, but they'll, uh, they'll break open and fall on the floor. Which means the only thing we can do with them is cook them at that point, which is no good. Adrian, $2 super chat. I thought my hashtag would be... <laughs> would have been forgotten by people. Hashtag what now? You can auto-wrangle with the drop-off. Uh, oh, yeah. Auto-wrangle surplus... Uh, but that's only for surplus. It actually, it, it only rang like auto wrangles the the room itself. Oh, did he get the one out of here? I think he did. Did he drop it off though? <laughs> oh, look! It's so unhappy. It's all. Oh, and they went to bed and left it tied up on the floor. Oh no, they didn't. How long will these stay like that? Oh, there we go. Hooray! Okay, we moved one. That's good. But what happened to the hatch room in here? I hope it didn't die when I wrangled it out of the ground. That's not good. Hold still. Wrangle. I need to limit the amount of flooring in here. I gotta move this floor level up so I can cut out a whole bunch of space. 
But I need to get this hatch out of the ground first. Otherwise, you'd be stuck there. I'll be a rancher as long as you turn combat off for me. <laughs> um, priorities. Spookus. Where's Spookus? All right, combat, combat off for you. Let's check our oxygen levels here. Oop, not bad. We're pumping CO2 up here. I don't like that. Um, uh, let's take this vent now. My, what tangled webs we weave when first we try to make a mess. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at this mess. How am I going to fix this thing? Um, good lord. Okay, hold on. It's going to be a little bit of waste of pipe, and it's going to look ugly as sin. But I'm going to take the, the ventilation pipe that's here. And we'll pipe bridge it back down over the ladder. Oh god, this is so awful. And we'll dump our CO2 down here. Because everything that's getting here is CO2 and natural gas. Most of it's actually CO2. Deconstruct that. There we go. Stoops, two hours super chat. Yay! Hatchtag the hatch lives. Epically. <laughs> I think it's alive. I'm not 100% certain. <laughs> I don't know where it went. Because it's not on here. We only have the baby hatches. And this hatch is still burrowed. So let's just dig this out. I think if they finish this tile here, then when this hatch pops out, it won't have a place to bury itself anymore. We can wrangle it, put it on the top floor. Then I can build a floor across here to, to shrink the size of the room. And we'll be getting closer to that like actual ranch size. Bridge the wrong way. No, it's not. It looks really weird in here, but I got it right. It's getting such small amounts of natural gas now. Oh, gross. My power system is terrible in this whole colony. What I really need to do is dig my way up here and make use of this thing. There's quite a bit of natural gas up here, but I also don't know what cycle this runs on. Because yeah, we haven't done any analysis on it. <laughs> I can't believe I have two coal generators set up specifically just to power the jukebox and the massage tables. <laughs> I feel like it's like an adult club or something. We're consuming all our power for adult services. Why is this not built yet? Wedding iron ore. Man, iron ore and everything. Uh, we have iron ore out here. Should be able to dig up more. Give to me all the iron ores. Ooh, it's hot out there. Oh yeah, we haven't made a hospital yet. I gotta I gotta pay attention to people's vitals too. They might not be in such a nice place vital wise. Air quality is good though, so that's fine. I like that at least. Baywen, three dollar super chat. His name is Hoppy. I wish I wish we could name them. It'd be so nice if you could name the hatchlings. Clay, if you ever watch the stream, and I rather doubt you do, but it would be amazing if we could name the, the critters once we tame them. I mean, it's 100% wild, so maybe maybe it's just not tamed yet, and that's the issue. But I, I'm pretty sure you can't name the critters. It'd be really cool if you could, though. How would everyone feel about the new expressive update? I mean, there's not really that many huge changes. They added a few neat things in. The uh, the new animations and stuff for the duplicates are great. It gives them more personality. I like the jukebox and the way they dance with it and stuff. Uh, the morale changes as opposed to, like, decor and food preferences. Like, blending it into one thing that's all based around the morale. Uh, seems like a good idea, but it certainly adds a lot of complexity as well. Yeah, see, they send in the update that you don't need doors, but I'm pretty sure you do. So let's build a door in here. I like the update so far, but this one isn't like this. No, uh, I 
gas pipes. Hold on. Um, this one's not exactly, like, earth-shattering the way that some of the other updates were, where they added in these massive changes. Clean up some of the mess there, so I don't forget later on that I have all those pipes hanging out in there. Now we have a mess hall if they can ever finish that door. Uh, deconstruct the wire here. We don't need that. Oh, and actually... I might be able to recover a bunch of metal just by looking at my power grid. Yeah, I can. Let's deconstruct all this wire. That'll give me all that back. Where else do we have wire we're not using? Here. All this wire. Do a little bit of recycling. We'll get back some of our... Some of our stuff. Go to suggested to Clay. Yeah, nice. Like it, but it needs polish. Yeah, I, I mean, this is the first day I played with it um, after it's gone into the, the core part of the program. Ooh, how did the, the back wall work for a decor? Well, that's actually not bad. I mean, we have a mess on the floor, but I think if we clean that up, that back wall really did a lot to fix the decor in here. So let's sweep all this mess up. The lavatory seem to have a more negative decor effect than the sinks do, but the back wall with the drywall that we put in there seems to work wonders. So that's good. We might we might end up drywalling like a large part of the base actually. We could deconstruct a door to an existing room to test the theory. Oh, that's true. But I mean, now that I built that door, we have a room. So the door was definitely required. So I don't know. It's a little weird. Hopefully they're all happy with their fancy uh, fancy night. What's? Uh oh, we have power problems. Oh, because nobody's running on the treadmill. Uh, you know what I really need here is I need a sensor. What we really want is gaseous element sensor. This way we only consume the power from this thing when there's actually natural gas here to be sucked up off of this thing. Because it's just tapping out my power supply for no reason right now. I'm getting like small spurts of energy out of this. <laughs> Just enough to cause chaos and mayhem. But, most importantly, this has continuous power supply, so we're not running out of air. And the water level here is not dropping too quick either, which is good. Good, good, good. Alright, so that's the first of, first one of the new rooms that I've made, I think. Well, actually, no, because we have the recreation room. But So we did make, we did make a great hall. I think it's a great hall. Yes, nice. Significantly improve duplicates morale, but it doesn't say to what specific measure, but that's okay. That's cool. Uh, let's wrangle this guy. Oh, you know, I built this thing for eggs, and I don't even need it now, because we don't have any eggs to put in there. Uh, this I want to feed hatches, and specifically, I'm not, I'm not concerned about turning them into other types of hatches right now. I just want to grow the population a bit, so I'm going to feed it with sandstone, I think, because we have lots of that. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's use clay, because I never really use clay for much. Outside of a stable. Well, yeah, but that's only because we haven't finished doing this stuff in here yet. Did they change the amount to nine? In terms of like the number of duplicates? Sorry, I'm, I'm not sure what you mean by nine. Ugh, I hate that. Oh, eight by 12 equals 96 tiles. First live stream, welcome Lich King. Check the difference between the washroom and the latrine. Oh, sure. Uh, let's see, rooms. Oops. Da, da, da. All right, so the latrine just says using a toilet in an enclosed room will improve duplicates morale. And then the actual washroom says it will improve duplicates morale. So they both say the same thing. I mean, I have no idea which one's... I'm assuming this one gives a better morale boost, but I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't give you the values of it. So, Although, uh, if we check the duplicates themselves, uh, we can see the, the effects on them. So... No, no, wait, hold on. Check the morale here. Where's the... There was a place where it showed what the actual effects were on them in terms of their happiness level. Where was that? 
must have been the vitals, right? Oh, yeah, here we go. Um, all right, so Great Hall gives plus six. Wow, that's sweet. Comfortable barracks, plus one. Plumbed bathroom is plus two. So I guess the regular bathroom is probably plus one. So it gives a it gives more of a boost, which is good. But that mess hall is a huge boost. That's amazing. So when we look at their morale at everybody now, they're all in a position where they're they're meeting their morale needs. Wow, look at that. 20. 24. So this stress level should go way, way down now. Which is good. Uh, really, that needs power? Alright, I guess it does. I suppose that makes sense. Uh, let's set this gaseous sensor for natural gas. That's funny, it says filter outputs. Filtered gas output, natural... Is that, am I using this wrong? I'm disabled by automation grid. Okay, no, that should be right. If natural gas goes by the sensor, it should turn on and turn on the pump. I wanna make sure I got this hooked up right. I haven't played around with this thing before. There's the natural gas drifting around. This is carbon dioxide still, oxygen, carbon dioxide. No, Grimey doesn't actually make you stressed, but does taking a shower improve quality of life now? Oh, it did work. Okay, good. I have that set up right. Sweet. Good, good, good. So now whenever this picks up natural gas floating near it, it should draw it in, which is okay. Um, I mean, the showers, are, were, I think, were supposed to help with stress. You can never really tell exactly what negative, what amount of benefit you're getting from them. The whole grimy debuff was supposed to be a stress adder, but it probably does Im Im impact their their morale at this point. Um, like when we look in the vitals, so Noodle Grand, for example, Grizzly Meal, Above Average Decor, Socialized, Great Hall, Recently Danced, plus two. Oh, that's nice. Plum Bathroom, plus two. Yeah, so I mean, grimy doesn't show up in there. I'm not sure what the effect is of grimy now. I thought it added distress, but now I don't know. I don't know what it does anymore. <laughs> Gotta admit, you have a plumb bathroom, your quality of life goes up. Uh, yeah, I, I I think that's very true. Yeah, I would not disagree with that in the slightest. Why is this guy not wrangled yet? Don't tell me he's jumping all the way down that ladder. If so, that's crazy. Nice! <laughs> Wrangling the spot where the hatch used to be. And apparently it still works. <laughs> Set that for priority A. If you wrangle somebody, move them right away, please. There we go. Okay, now we can build a floor across here. This should reduce the number of tiles. So... How many tiles have I got in here right now? 111. So if I'm taking away two tiles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, that will be plenty. No, oh, come on. Deconstruct buildings. And then build me my tiles across here. It's kind of a weird waste of space, but later on I can maybe uh, I'll open this up further and we can maybe put our uh, a farm down here or something for um, mushrooms, dust caps. We saw a stinky emote. Interesting. They can smell now. Yeah, they actually could for a while. Um, this, they get the stinky emote whenever they smell natural gas. So when a, when a duplicate passes gas, they don't like the smell. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Good job, guys. Somebody's always getting their head trapped. Alright, see if you can build this without sticking your head in the hole. That'd be great. No, don't seal him. Alright. <laughs> it's gonna be the one little Dreco stuck in a little tiny container. Soon to be Dreco meat. <laughs> Rotting Badger! 
five pound super chat. It's 4 a.m. in the UK. Insomnia. Boo. Live stream. Yay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I'm insomnia, but uh, welcome to the stream. And thank you for the super chat. It's much appreciated. It's so crazy. All right. This is finally a stable, so that's fine. We've got our, our first little ranch going. Now, this is obviously a tiny, tiny ranch. We're only going to be able to fit a few, a few little hatches in here, but... I suppose it's better than nothing. Uh, later on, I want to expand the hatch, and we'll have a bigger uh, ranch and have a bigger one. What are these guys up to? Oh, they're picking up sandstone. All right. Doing all the cleanup work and all that done, and we're out of algae again. Because you know why not? <laughs> all right, good times. Um, we are going to need. To expand on my fancy little room here. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to send people in here to do a little work. I don't have to be quite as fancy with this one though. Because we've already got everything set up here specifically for the hydrogen. So if they can actually build through this. The hard part is as soon as they go in here, they're going to release some of the hydrogen. Which is really going to stink. I wonder if I can get them. You know what? I'm going to get them to build this a little bit weird. Just to try to minimize the amount of impact of like having hydrogen moving around in my colony. Uh, I'm going to have them build a ladder here. So they can build everything they need to up to that point. We're going to put a second electrolyzer right here. We're going to put a second pump in down here. And then, once they have all this built, I'm going to have them break the wall here so that the hydrogen that comes out of this one will go up and join the flow of the rest of this. Uh, we'll build the wall down this side as we take away the ladder. And then that'll give us the ability to do all this without letting the hydrogen out. So then both of these will supply oxygen. The one will go into one pump. or Well, that would be kind of split between the two ultimately. Uh, we actually could probably run three pumps off of this setup. There'd be enough. There's actually enough oxygen being produced here to run three pumps off of this. If I could just figure out all the piping <laughs> and cooling it off and stuff. Nevertheless, uh, we are rolling around right on 11 o'clock Eastern time. Uh, so I'm going to call it a wrap for tonight. Thanks everyone for coming to hang out for the stream. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the next day will be for streams. I know I'll be streaming Oxygen Unoccluded again next Tuesday. I'm going to try to stay consistent with my Tuesday night stream at the very, very minimal amount of things. Um, I'm going to probably be streaming about three times a week. I may stream again tomorrow night as soon as I figure out what's going on there and I'll try to sort all that out. But uh, thank you everyone for coming to hang out. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you make sure you get notifications for the upcoming streams. You can come hang out with everybody again. Uh, thanks again to the new sponsors tonight. Uh, if you're interested in checking out any Cryptic Fox merchandise, there's a link for that down in the description as well so you can go check that out. But uh, thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate you all hanging out and all the, the additional tips and stuff when you catch me making a misstep. It's always helpful as well. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.